Welcome to the Upgrading USR4204 Firmware video. This video will show how to flash firmware locally or remotely into a USR4204 console port server and power switch hybrid. The topics covered in this video are the requirements for local flashing, the requirements for remote flashing, the steps for local or remote flashing, what to do if the upload is interrupted while sending the new firmware, and what to do if the USR4404 remains in boot mode after loading the new firmware. Here are the requirements for flashing a local USR4204. You'll need a target unit that's accessible locally, and a computer that has a connection to the internet and a web browser to download new firmware from the USR website. The computer must also have a DB9 serial port. As an alternative to a serial port, use a USB port and a USB to serial cable. The computer's operating system will assign a COM port number when the serial port is first installed. You must know how to query the computer's operating system to find that COM port number. For help finding the COM port number, contact USR Technical Support. To communicate over the serial port to the targeted unit, terminal emulation software must be loaded onto the computer. In this video, I'll use TerraTurn, but many other terminal applications are available on the Internet. Whichever one you choose, you must know how to select a serial connection, enter the COM port number, adjust the serial port settings, and send a binary file without protocols. For help configuring and using your terminal application, consult the help files or documentation provided with the application, or search online for user groups, or contact USR technical support. To connect the serial port to the target unit, Use the DB9 to RJ45 adapter and the RJ45 rollover cable that are included with the USR4204. Or you can use the familiar and widely available blue console port cable. Next, here are the requirements for flashing a remote USR4204. The target unit is at a remote site and is powered up and connected to an analog or cellular modem waiting for an incoming connection. You'll need a computer that has a connection to the Internet, a web browser to download new firmware from the USR website, a dial-up or cellular connection to the remote target unit, and a terminal application that's capable of sending a binary file over the dial-up or cellular connection. Use the same dial-up or cellular connection that's normally used for out-of-band management check that your out-of-band management software can send a binary file. For help configuring and using your terminal application or finding a new terminal application, contact USR Technical Support. Now, here are the steps for flashing a USR4204, locally or remotely. First, connect to the target unit. If the target unit is local, use the cabling to connect the computer's serial port to the target unit's terminal port. A blue console port cable can substitute for the rollover cable and the RJ45 adapter. Then, launch the terminal application and configure it to match the serial settings of the USR4204 terminal port. Now, power up the target unit by plugging the included power supply into the USR4204. Normally, the terminal port LEDs will light, confirming that the correct COM port is selected. The USR4204 main menu or a security login prompt should appear on screen after the USR4204 powers up. If the target unit is remote, Launch your out-of-band management application or the terminal emulation application and connect to the remotely located USR4204 using the same dial-up or cellular channel that's normally used for out-of-band management. Note that using a cellular connection 
to send firmware will consume hundreds of kilobytes from your cellular data plan. Once connected, the main menu or a security login prompt should appear on screen. If nothing is displayed, press the Enter key to refresh the screen. Now that you're connected, log in to the target unit. If security is disabled and the main menu is already displayed, skip the login and proceed to the next step. Log in with an administrator name and password. This is the main menu of the target unit. Now check the current firmware version of the target unit. At the main menu, enter the Y command to display the Configure Parameters menu. Make note of the current firmware version number. Next, check the USR support webpage for a newer version of firmware. Keep the terminal application open and launch a web browser. Type www.usr.com slash support slash 4204 into the address bar. Select a country or region and find the latest firmware. Compare this version to the target unit's current firmware version. If the target unit doesn't have the latest firmware, click the firmware link to download the zip file to a convenient location on the computer. Use the computer's unzip utility to extract the contents of the firmware zip file. Close the web browser and switch back to the terminal application. Finally, use the terminal application to send the new firmware to the target unit. From the Configure Parameters menu, type the exclamation mark command. At the Are You Sure prompt, type Y. The USR 4204 will enter boot mode. Note that the next command will erase system code and the USR 4204 will no longer be operational until new firmware is loaded. Type pound dollar percent and wait for the load hex file prompt. Within 30 seconds, use the terminal to send the unzipped firmware file to the target unit. When the upload is complete, the main menu or a security login prompt should appear. Confirm that the new firmware is now installed. During a remote upgrade, the file transfer can be interrupted if the communications channel drops. If the file transfer is interrupted, reconnect, re-enter the pound dollar percent command, and restart the upload. If the USR 4204 remains in boot mode once the file transfer is complete, Confirm that the terminal application is set for a raw binary file transfer without any protocols, 
or try downloading the new firmware file again from the USR support web page and be sure to unzip the file before loading it into the USR 4204. If the USR 4204 still remains in boot mode, contact USR Technical Support. In this video I have explained and demonstrated how to upgrade USR 4204 firmware locally or remotely. For more details about any USR 4204 commands, see the command reference chapter in the USR 4204 user guide, which can be downloaded from this USR support page. I hope this video was helpful for understanding how to upgrade USR 4204 firmware. Thank you for watching and thank you for choosing USR.